My name is Jenny Roger and I'm a research fellow at UWA. I'm involved in teaching the neuroscience major at UWA. I do research in neuroscience, which means that I study how the brain works. I study the cells and the circuits that it forms and the behavior that comes out of those circuits. So I think neuroscience is an extremely important uh, subject to study because unlike many other organs of the body, you cannot replace a brain, you cannot fix a brain, and any damage to the brain really changes who you are. So in the neuroscience major, it has a very broad multidisciplinary approach because in, a f in the first point, you need, as a neuroscience, you need to know all of these approaches. You need to know biology, you need to know how cells work, you need to know chemistry because the cells communicate with each other using chemicals and different molecules. You also need to understand physics because of the equipment that we use, and there's also a very important genetic component. There's obviously psychology as well, which comes into the human side of neuroscience. So all of that broad multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary approach is what the neuroscience major at UWA is based on. The neuroscience major can be studied as a degree-specific major in the Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Philosophy honors, or as a second major in any of UWA's undergraduate degrees. In your first year, you will take two core units in psychology. The first one, Psych 1101, or Mind and Brain, will give you a broad introduction to psychological processes and the mind and the brain. So this focuses particularly on memory and learning and perception processes. You will also be introduced to methodological techniques and quantitation methods, and as a student, participate in various psychology experiments. So the second core unit in neuroscience first year is, uh, is another psychology unit, Psych 1102, or Behaviour in Context. And this continues the general theme of an introduction to uh, the field of neuroscience, and it focuses particularly on developmental psychology, things like intelligence and personality, as well as abnormal psychology, amongst others. And now we move on to second year, where there are two core units, Human Neurobiology and Physiology of Cells. Human neurobiology is a really extraordinary unit because it focuses on the development and anatomy of the human brain. And so as part of this course, you will be handling human brain material that is stored in the anatomy museum. And you will be encouraged to study this material in great detail so that you understand all aspects of how the brain works. You will look at the vascular system, you will look at structure function relationships, you will understand the different parts of the brain and the different types of behavior that they underpin, for example, the motor system and the different cortical regions. This unit will also introduce some of the more contemporary areas of neuroscience, including things like plasticity, the uh, processes in the brain that underpin learning and memory, the biological processes that is, as well as uh, subjects that are relevant to human health and disease, such as neurodegeneration and brain injury. So the other core unit in second year is physiology of cells. And this is in contrast to the very general uh, psychology-based units that you've had so far. So this gives you insight into the nitty-gritty of how cells work. It talks about how cells generate electricity and chemical signals that can allow brain cells and networks to communicate. It talks about sensory processes, so how cells underlie touch and feeling and sensation, hot and cold, uh, different types of, of sensation. And it also gives you insight into how cells are generated, cell differentiation, cell death. So this will give you a really good insight into the cellular and physiological processes that underlie the workings of the brain. So in your third year, the units all focus on the very up-to-date and advanced aspects of neuroscience, with all of the coordinators of these units being researchers that are at the cutting edge of their field. I'll start with uh, Neuro 3310 Neuroscience, and this unit brings together very nicely the psychology and physiology aspects that you've learned so far. And with a particular emphasis is on the neuropathological basis of psychiatric disorders. So you will learn the types of chemicals and brain, brain uh, circuits that might be abnormal in disorders such as schizophrenia or drug addiction. And you will also understand how the treatments that are provided, either pharmacological or behavioral, might go about modifying those brain structures and circuits in order to treat the disorder. ANIM 3320, or Comparative Neurobiology, is a very different unit from what you've had so far. All of your units up until now have focused on human aspects of neuroscience, looking at brain disorders, looking at human health and the relevance for human disease. 
However, this unit takes a step back and looks at the whole animal kingdom. So you will understand evolution of brains, evolution of brain functions and behaviours, and also how the brain works in an ecological context. The last core units are Advanced Neuroscience 1 and Advanced Neuroscience 2, and these two units really go together. The first one, Advanced Neuroscience 1, involves a series of lectures on uh, the latest neuroscience research, and it will cover a broad range of topics, focusing particularly on things like vision and auditory function. And it goes all the way from the basic functions of cells, harking back to the uh, physiology of cells unit in second year, all the way through to treatments and um, structure function relationships in the brain. The second unit, Advanced Neuroscience 2, focuses on the practical aspects related to that lecture series, and it also introduces you to the literature. So it, uh, there are various assessment items provided where you need to read, critically review, and to a certain extent write uh, essays and critical reviews of the latest literature. For those who wish to continue beyond the undergraduate level, Neuroscience Honours is also available. And Neuroscience Honours is a really wonderful opportunity to you, for you to participate in the sort of research that you've been learning about. And Neuroscience Honours is fairly unique because it provides the opportunity for you to carry out a research project for almost the entire year. So you write a literature review studying the area of research that you're going to go into, and you work with your supervisors very closely to design an experiment that you will then focus on for seven to eight months. And you will be responsible for performing all of those experiments, analyzing the data, and then writing up a thesis at the end of the year. This then obviously provides a gateway into uh, future postgraduate studies such as masters and PhD. A real advantage of the neuroscience major is that it is multidisciplinary. So it has a wide range of uh, topics that you will have covered as an undergraduate, and that makes you very employable once you've graduated. So you can, we've look, when we look back at all of our graduates, there are a range of careers that they have chosen. Many choose to go into medicine because of the very strong biomedical foundation that they get. But we also have students who go into pharmacy, who go into industry and work in pharmaceutical industries, and obviously then people who stay in academia and become researchers or lecturers. A number of students go on to become teachers at the primary or high school level, and one of our graduates even travelled to the US and worked at the FDA for um, drug approval agency. One of the big advantages of, doing, of studying neuroscience at UWA is that it has a really multidisciplinary approach. The units come from all different parts of the science faculty and really contribute to the knowledge base that you will have as neuroscientists.